What is going on guys, Kind of Fool here with another Mad1285 video. This video is the best read option formation in Mad25 in my opinion. Of course it's my opinion, so if you disagree it's okay. If you have another one, it's if it works for you, it works for you, good for you. I found this to work, and I'm just spreading it to help, you know, new players to the, uh, to the Madden franchise. So you're going to go to the Seahawks playbook in the pistol formation. You're going to go twin tight end, uh, the twin tight end package in the Seahawks offensive uh, playbook. And you're just going to do the regular read option, not the read option week. You want to go to the right side because those are where the two tight ends are. Um, I'm going to show you 4-3 zone and man, 3-4 zone and man, um, just the simple zones and the simple mans. So for the zones, the read option guy is going to be the strong safety, but in they'll push him up to the box safety because there's so much blocking on the right side that they need a guy further back to, to be that guy to stop the read option. And in this formation, um, your tight ends basically giving you seven blockers uh, two extra on the right either he has to go shoot the gap that's going to be left there with the new uh, uh, I don't know what's what they called it but with the, they made better gaps from the running game or he has to go to the outside where it's going to be a, you know it's going to be hard to get around because there's two extra blockers there and a wide receiver if he gets off the block so he's make that quick decision and it, for for the read option most of the time you're going to get it off to the running back because if you're playing just the basic pistol formation, the end's pretty much just going to stop and wait for you to make a play or he's going to rush it depending if it's user controlled or uh, computer controlled. So either they're going to shoot the gap where you see between A and the right tackle or they're going to go the outside where RB is. Um, that's, they have to make that quick decision and it's it's got to be precise. So as you see there, he goes to the uh, outside and he's got to go around completely giving me the gap. Um, I would say this formation, it's probably the most effective pistol formation I've, I've had uh, used. I just ran across it this morning, decided to make a video about it. Um, it's just, when I ran the read option, I would have trouble with the quarterback. And whenever I got a runoff of the quarterback, it'd be for a big gain, which I felt like they—they—that's they, what they wanted to do, to make it tough to run with the quarterback because you have to make a quick decision. Um, because in read option, you have to make that quick decision: do I keep it or not? So they made it—they made it kind of good to that um, extent. So with this formation, it gives you a more uh, versatility. Do you want to run with the running back? There's more blocking on the right side. Do I run with the quarterback and get a big gain? Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much what this formation is. It just gives you it's pretty much a safeguard for your running back to run. I mean your running the quarterback to run, and pretty much you don't want to do this formation with a slow quarterback. I've seen people run the pistol with RG well not RG three of course you know it but. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, Alex Smith, Andrew Luck. I've seen it a lot. Uh, but you want a fast running back for this one. And a, a good running back too because it gives you another weapon to this read option. Um, I, would, I would recommend good blocking. But the blocking is kind of overpowered in this game. The run blocking at least. So you kind of just... It's, it's simple to run this formation. Um, there you saw that the wide receiver can hold the block. And it kind of messed it up. Not every time you're going to be able to hold the block. It's not going to work every single time, but it will work, you know, 75% of the time. So if you're looking for a good five-yard gain, at least, there you go. Um, you got, you know, if if you're running against zone, you'll be able to shoot the gap, as you saw earlier. If you run a man, there's not going to be many guys around to run on the outside. You pretty much, like right here, you only see the safety. Marshall Lynch comes up for the block. The free safety has to come and get you at a weird angle. Um, so it's, I don't know, I, I just felt, now we're going to show you the 3-4. I felt like when I first used this play online, I was just, I was just killing it. I haven't had much success with the read option, but with the quarterback at least. Um, but the running backs have, have been fine, so. Also, quick tip, don't press A when you're doing this because then you'll hand it off to the running back unless you do want to run off the running back. 
Um, so here when the three four, the three four is kind of different. In man, you're gonna your uh, second middle linebacker, which they don't have in the four three, of course. He's gonna be running his zone. So if you shoot the gap, he might be there. He might not be. Um, also in the three four, the safety once again is the read option guy in the zone. In the man, they really don't have one. It should be the end, but the end's getting blocked. Well, that's what makes this formation good too, because when you're running. If someone runs man, there's no read option guy, and the read option guy usually would be the end in that in that search situation. But there's so much blocking that end to stop it. There isn't really a guy to come after you. In the zone, the safety has to go all the way around, or he's to shoot the gap. So if he shoots the gap, you run. If he goes outside, you pretty much get on with the quarterback still because there's a long way to go around. Um, what else? So yeah, it's 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 simple as that. It's just it's just a it mind games pretty much with it because I think the only problem you run into this with this formation is if it's user controlled and he knows how to stop the read option. Not many people I've run to online can. They'll always out judge it and go way outside to stop and leaving the gap in the middle wide open. So um, this it's it's really effective because you can run with the quarterback and when you run with the quarterback and the read option. It's probably gonna go for a big game. Um, it's and it's such a simple play too. Um, nothing. You don't have to change your offense line. You could change it aggressive. I would. Aggressive might make it a little bit better, but I didn't tweak anything. I just ran it and it worked. Um, I've really ran it against like a um, all-star defense or all, like you know I've ran it against the 49ers and whatnot, but I'm, I would assume it would work. Um, I would I would say this formation's better. I don't even, I would say the four three because there's less speed for you to run past. Um, three four you get the extra middle linebacker and then the speed rushers standing up. So if they sense the read option coming, they won't even rush the passer, passer, the passer, to to try to get you down. Instead, they'll just follow you and tackle you. Um, so three four man, as you see, once again linebackers will be covering the tight ends. Um, if you don't feel comfortable, you can audible out. You already got two receivers, you got two tight ends, and you have a running back, depending on who, what team you choose. So it's there's a lot of things you could do with this formation if you don't feel comfortable running the ball. As you see there, my right tackle get man manhandles and pushes me, almost pushes me down. But good thing the timing was good on that. Uh, uh, so yeah, there once again. It's just, I think the only way to really stop this is just hoping you can uh, shred blocks really fast enough to to read it to the point where he can't, I can't get several yardage off of it. Um, I, I'd recommend it with a fast quarterback and Seahawks are a perfect team for this, to be honest, because it works so well. Um, if you have a good tight end death, you just, not one tight end and some blocking tight ends would work. Um, Sydney Rice is a pretty decent blocking receiver too, so the Seahawks are perfect team for this. Um, other teams would probably be perfect would be the 49ers because they have a good rush blocking. Um, Redskins obviously because they have RG3, but most of the people I run online with the Redskins are pretty terrible with the read option because they want to run with RG3. So if you're new to the game, this is the perfect formation run the Seattle playbook. Easy run with RG3. Um, any you know any other mobile quarterback? It doesn't have to be a fast quarterback like I said earlier. It just be a quarterback that can that can run for yards, like several yards, not the big play yards. But if you can get ten to twenty yards, it's a big play for for you because it's the first down. So anything works. Uh, like I said, if you don't feel comfortable running it, you could just audible into a pass and whatnot. So many options you could do with this. Um, I f recommendation to be would be run with the quarterback because you're just gonna burn everybody. Um, Russell Wilson could break tackles too. So um, the video is coming to an end. Um, last couple plays. Uh, hope you enjoyed this tip and it's very helpful. If it was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe and keep on for the other tip. Uh, we'll keep watching for other tips. Uh, there'll definitely be more to come. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time in the next Madden video. And I hope you enjoy your Madden Online Ranked match with the new 
redash information you have just found. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.